Welcome, everybody, to our uh, webinar here on data acquisition and analysis. Uh, I'd like to thank you for, for taking the time out of your morning to, to sit with us. This discussion is, is designed just to cover the basics, so no need to worry if you're, if you're new to data uh, analytics. We're just going to have an, an inter introductory discussion on data acquisition and analysis, specifically how it relates uh, to the IBA tools themselves. So if we look at the IBA PDA system, the IBA PDA is a client server architecture. So the server itself runs as a service on whatever uh, PC is actually doing the data collection. And then from the client application, which you can see I have open here, we can connect to that server and gain access to the data being collected by that server. Now, the nice thing about this client server architecture is it allows us to access the data from multiple servers that we might have on our uh, facility floor from one central location. So I can be you know, sitting in my office, come in here, connect to one data set, do my work that I need to do for that particular system, and then jump to the next one and so on and so forth. So when we start thinking about you know, product tracking and genealogy, uh, you know, I, I have the ability to, to access the data from those various sources throughout my process line. I'm able to look at my data set here. So here you can see those 30 minute files that are being created. If I simply click on one of these files, you'll notice that down here at the bottom, I get a little preview into the file. So, you know, before even opening the file, I can just simply come in here and figure out, okay, which, which file am I really looking for? Do I really need to open? And then once I decide, the file itself opens in my signal tree. And very similar to PDA, I'm able to drag and drop those signals on the trend graph uh, to be able to visualize those trends. So now if I come in here, and I'm just going to close this file here. But what I'll do is I'll keep this analysis template open. Uh, so you can see here, the signals themselves are defined in the trend graph. Although there's no data in the trend graph anymore because I have closed that file and it no longer exists within my signal tree. So now if I come back to file, open data file, I can select a new, a new data set, or I can actually append a collection of data sets together by selecting multiple files and choosing append files on multi-select. And this gives me the ability to see multiple files in subsequence with the definitions that were defined within my analysis template. So now without having to recreate uh, these three trends, I'm able to quickly see these uh, on, on the trend graph based off of what was defined in my analysis template. So here with just three signals, uh, you can see, you know, it would have been really easy for me to just, you know, double click or drag and drop to rebuild this template. But as these analysis templates get more and more complex, uh, you know, the ability to, to reuse these and, and look at different time slices uh, within the same definition or within the same uh, analytics set uh, is very quick to, to jump back and forth through. Now, if I come into IBA Analyzer, a different screen here. This is a pre-canned analysis template with quite a few uh, more options on here for me. Uh, so I'm able to come in here and not just look at time series data, but also use my expression builder inside of Analyzer here, which is very similar to what we saw in IBA PDA with just a longer list of, of math functions available to me because there's more math that I can do on a static data set than a dynamically changing data set. Uh, so this trend here is actually a length-based trend that is taking a time series signal and converting it into the length domain. Now all of this data is being pre-configured to export as a PDF report. So here you can see the definition of that report itself. And if I jump in to my file folder, and see all the different folders that I have that have my reports within them. And then I'm able to open this report and visualize the data as a PDF document. So now I have a nice table that overviews which product was produced. I have access to my time series and my length domain data, as well as a statistical summary of the product itself. 
So all of that information is made available automatically for each product that is produced uh, through the software without any additional interaction.